this is the, a demo of using STM32 on VS Code. Um, once you install the STM32 uh, extension, you get all these tools and you can do the normal things. Uh, generally, you're just going to go and you're going to debug uh, whatever program you have written. Uh, right now, it's just, you know, look at a button, blink a light. And uh, it shows up in the, the startup STM file by default, which is a little annoying, but if you put a breakpoint, you know, on line four, it would just uh, default there. Uh, as is, I'll put a breakpoint on line 13, uh, which is after I press the button. Uh, press the button, you can see it hits the breakpoint, shows all your normal debug information. So I is currently 64. Uh, you can go in and uh, modify that if you want to. And uh, shows all your registers, so you can look at um, what value things are currently. Got the window kind of scaled down, so it's better for recording, but a little worse to to use. But you can see GPIOA. Uh, you can check out the mode of pin five or uh, bit five. Uh, you can see it's mode uh, zero one right here. You can come in and and manually change it up here. And you can you can look at any any other registers just like normal. Uh, you can see, also see the core registers. You can see where you're at in the program. Uh, you can watch globals and and SATX as well. So all all fairly normal uh, debug capability. Uh, remove breakpoint. Just let it run by deep as normal. Uh, hit the button and it will change. Pause at any time and see where you're at. Okay, so. That's all fairly normal, uh, but the reason to use VS Code is is the the ability to use Git to keep track of your code and collaborate with others. So uh, 24 minutes ago, uh, I updated the indentation on this line, so you can see that information right there. That's the last time this line of code has been updated. I think I modified one yeah one of these lines. I have uncommitted changes. I just you know got rid of a couple spaces here two minutes ago. Uh, up on main.h. I uh, didn't touch that since uh, 26 minutes ago, which is the first program uh, before I went through an updated indentation. So you can see all of those things. You can do comparisons. Uh, if you look at the, the Git file, it will tell you all the, the versions uh, of this file uh, automatically. And you can, can, can kind of see what happened on each individual line. So if you hover over this U, Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't work in debug mode. Okay, it doesn't work in debug. Um, you can see when it was modified. You can see what was changed. Uh, in this case, the, the commit is pretty unexciting because it's just removing a bracket and replacing a bracket, and then you can't quite see the indentation. But you can go out and, and see the change on, on GitHub uh, if you want to see like further details. Otherwise, you can do you know comparisons of, of uh, the changes uh, you can open past changes, uh, but you can see the, the history and also the history with uh, other users that are also making changes. So uh, powerful GitHub integration that doesn't uh, actually works fairly well for uh, um, multiple people collaborating and uh, merging code. Uh, but in addition to this, uh, VS Code has what's known as Live Share. Uh, so here's live share. I can see uh, who's looking at my code currently and, and do a, an, an online chat of it right now. So if someone someone's looking at my code and, and they are, I can chat with them. So you can you can open that up. But you can also come over here and see who's uh, looking at your code. So you can use this to uh, invite other people to look at your code, but also go in and um, help them with their code live as well. So you, you don't need to like send packages back and forth or clone their GitHub or anything like that. Uh, you can just say, hey, send me a link to your uh, live share. I'll hop on, uh, take a look, and help you develop. So I, I do have my other user account actually signed in. That's what this pink cursor right here is. Um, I, I'm just signed in from a web browser on the other side, and we can take a look at what that looks like. So you can, you can sign into all this on a web browser. Uh, I just found out I can actually set breakpoints um, from this other user, so I can I can just slip in a breakpoint and say, all right, let's stop the code right here uh, from that side, uh, and it works um, on this side as well. 
so we can we can switch over to see both of them at the same time so over here I can select code uh, you see it selected on the other screen so you can you can point people to certain areas um, if you can see where my cursor is on e either side uh, and either either person can enter code so I can enter code on this side and uh, also on this side so uh, allows multiple people to edit the document to to guide um, uh, to, to certain points in addition to that um, we'll, we'll expand on that one in addition to that if you if you don't want to like put in a comment to say check this out uh, you can also come in here and, and actually start a discussion say um, So you can add something like, hey, your code's, you know, get stuck here. Uh, add that comment. Uh, it's in there. Uh, you can, you know, minimize that so it's there, but it shows up as a little icon. Uh, on the other side, you will see the same thing. I'll switch over to the... Oh, I need to switch over to that one. There we go. Uh, on the other side, you'll see the same thing. A, a little comment box has showed up so I can see uh, what what they think you know might be going wrong easy to point people to certain areas uh, you can remove the uh, comment when you uh, think you've addressed it if you want to clean things up or you can keep it there for a history uh, all comments show up over here in the live share with the live share you also can do audio calls uh, and whiteboard so uh, and then once you have all your recent contacts it's really easy to collaborate and uh, uh, get on to a, a, a debug session very quickly so that, that's SDM and, and VS Code. Uh, really easy to make a commit. So I did a, what did I do? I I didn't do much, but it even tells me that uh, it's co-authored by um, the other user that types some comments in there. Uh, and I can go in and say, I uh, added some test comments. So nothing, nothing major, but very useful. Say I wanna commit all those files uh, really, all I care about is .c. Uh, you can go through and get rid of some of the other things, but uh, for this, doesn't really matter. Commit and then sync, and now it's pushed up there. Uh, so I can now share it with uh, whoever. I'm not sure if I actually pressed the button. There we go. And now it's a, a full commit. Uh, Save there for, for history. So um, should a computer forget what's going on, it's out there. And then if you're collaborating with someone, they can go grab it right away. Uh, and use it. So find it all very useful. Uh, hopefully that helps. See ya.